Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, we're picking up right where we left off last time with the new Carthaginian Empire while we're fighting. Kind of got encircled here against the Griffonian Empire. So hopefully, well, they died. Well, that was really fast. Well, that sucks. Hopefully, we can hold the line. Apparently, we have 10 more divisions, but I hope they're going to move soon. I really hope that they're going to move soon, but uh, regardless. Hope you guys are having a good day. We are going to try our best to survive, 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 because my goodness. It's not looking too good, now, is it? I'm going to do four more divisions. Four more divisions here, hanging out. Um, hmm. This line is looking pretty good, honestly. This line is looking very, very good. You guys out? Know, hmm. Well, I guess just throw them in. Yeah. Throw them in. Uh, I'm actually go with that one, even though he's like. Uh, what was it? Politically connected, whatever? We could still use whoever's. Oh, we can't do that on defense, huh? Ah, that's fine. Um, well, alright. At least they moved. They finally moved, but we did just finish reaffirm the Carthon Protocols. If you'd like to read about that again, please go right ahead. But we should go with expand the pact. The truly ensure the freedom of the South and the leading position of winged body. The Carthinian pact must be expanded. Only together can we stand against Northern expansionists and the wicked beast of communism. Alright, they kind of stopped attacking. We have pushed out over here as well, but I don't really want to push too hard. I kind of want to just attract them around here. That's my main goal. Attract them in here and don't get killed, please. Uh, I got... Ooh. Ooh. That's us. This is them. Oh, we lost a, he like a heavy cruiser. That's not good. We did lose a destroyer as well, which is not very bueno, but it is 10 15. Let's grab some more soft attack. 10% more is very nice. Overall, that's a really bad one. These guys are not that great, but. Oh. Oh boy. Alright, so if that's the case, here's what we gotta do. I don't want them to lose the navy. The navy is too important. Too precious. Too precious. Do that. There you go. There you go. Do that. Oh boy, and they're really attacking us here now. Oh, baby boy. They've got a lot of soldiers. They'll start attacking us here like crazy as well. How. Oh, hold on, hold on. How are they attacking so well? Uh, if that's the case, if you guys could retreat back to here, that'd be very, very good. Move, 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 so you don't get encircled as well. Just go and retreat. That's totally fine. Totally fine to retreat sometimes. Uh, that was a lot of red earlier, but now it's a lot of green, which is very good. Um, if they want to attack us here, they can try, but... Oh, that is not good to get encircled, man. Not very good. There we go. Pull them out, pull them out. That's super important. Non discriminatory conscription is very good to get even more population. And we'll finish with uh, guerrilla tactics with werewolf gorillas. I've never taken this one before, so very cool. What else do we have down here? Better guns, that'll be very, very nice. Ooh, repairs. Doesn't really matter what we're making right now because we need the best ships possible. I might take away some of these divisions and throw them out else somewhere else, so we'll see. Uh, so far, they must have lost. That's not enough. That's really not enough. We've lost quite a few, but they, the, the amount of attacks they're doing is kind of crazy. Especially without us, you know, really winning on too many different places here. That sucks. Um, you might want to help out here as well, maybe. Beat him back, beat him back. Oh, they're losing here now, that's not good. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him back. Because I will deploy the soldiers early again if we have to, which we probably will, honestly. Over here, it's, still, it's not that bad. I don't want to move those guys around. Hunt and destroy. Good, let's keep doing it. Oh, that's nice. We go to need to do some naval doctrine as well. I really don't mind cutting out, like... Ooh, actually select all. So one, two, three, four. I don't mind throwing this group over somewhere else, maybe. And helping to hold the line at the very least. Especially around here, because it's very, very bad. Come over here and help out the line. As long as these guys can hold over here. That's the most important thing. Just hold. You might be able to attract them to attack us while we're defending over here. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll see what happens. There you go. Cool. We have some political power as well. We could go to all the... Well, we already are on all the... Sort of mobile tank defender. That kind of sucks. The designer, I mean. That we only have one company for that? Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. A motorized attack and defense might not be bad to do. Ground support, interception. How is this coming along? That's not looking very good now, is it? Uh, That is really not good. We have a ton of planes. Let's do interception, probably. They're just blowing through us like we're like, we're like nothing. There's literally not enough casualties for these enemies. Come on, help. Take them out, take them out. Oh my goodness, this, this really sucks. Uh, do anything over here? Grindolf? Griffolf? Uh, let's go with recovery rate, actually. Because we could probably use that, honestly. Anything else for these guys? Galfredo? Yes, yes. Not too much, though. And Giovanni. Giovanni. Gassy. You know, it's supposed to be messy. Um, let's go Ambusher. Let's go Ambusher. We still have some more 
command. But I'll have to go Aperture as well here. Because we gotta dig in. Expand the pact is good. Uh, ooh, that's good as well. Southern Society. Max planning is not bad. Not really necessary, though, for defense right now. Uh, what do we want? Uh, so stuff is okay. Blueprints are nice. It's not really gonna help us immediately. Geo Marina. Cass. Airbase construction speed. Anti-air construction speed. More bases. Radar's okay. Yeah, this is all just okay. Let's get Regia Marina. Wing body has long since had a strong naval tradition that allowed it to exert its influence far with a powerful navy. Unfortunately, our navy has fallen upon hard times, and has both shrunk and become antiquated. It is high time that we rectify this. Good. Alright, so we got some more research speed. Let's grab some more decryption, so we can have some more combat ability, hopefully. And please don't let them live here. Okay, you guys can't do anything. You guys just literally can't do anything at all, can you? Uh, casualties should be over a million by this point. Like, this is ridiculous, man. This is really just ridiculous. Are they pushing down through here? Oh, well, that's not good. Um, you guys made it over here, and you're still holding out, so I don't want to really move you guys too much. I don't want to do this, but we have to. Spread out. Because even this part of the line is looking not super great. At least defending... Oh, don't attack, guys. Don't attack. You're kind of crazy attacking. Just defend. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, we're out of artillery. That's really not good. Okay, then. Well, that's what happens when you deploy early. There you go. We don't need that many. We don't need that many tanks really for this stuff. Go up a little higher. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's not good either. Hmm. How are we doing on millies? We're still building a few millies up. That's good. All right. So so far it looks like we can hold. It looks like they're starting to run out of equipment. Maybe. No, they're out of manpower. Actually, that's not too bad. They have a lot of equipment, but if they're out of manpower, I want to see if it blows up or down. Because if we start attacking. Oh, no, they must be mobilizing more. They're on service by requirement, which is not very good for us. Oh, boy. Look at that. That's really not good. Oh, a lot of lag. Hold on. Wow, it's lagging extremely hard. I think the changelings might be releasing a lot of people. Let's take a look. No? Well, kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. Manhattan, Appalusian, as well as Greater Changeling, yeah. All right, cool. Um... Really, this is just this is extremely ridiculous. All right, so the next batch, we gotta get some more soldiers down here too. If that's the case, you guys actually might be able to push in at all. Would you actually be able to? Maybe that'd be kind of nice. Guys, please head over here. You should be e easily be able to beat them like that over there. But let's grab some more defense. No, no defense over there. Okay, that's fine. Come on, keep holding out, keep holding out. You should have tons of resistance here. Tons and tons and... Oh, they're actually lowering resistance. How great is that? Ooh, we lose that tile. We're going to lose a few divisions. Up, oh, the changings are still releasing people. That's making the game, like, so incredibly hard. Oh, that is not good. Not good, if I do say so myself. Alright. Push them back. Push these gubbies, gubbies back. Yes, push them back. Kill every single one of them off. And good. We can close out of that. War propaganda. We're still doing okay on war propaganda. Uh, stuff is all okay. We don't need that either. I'd rather get some more stuff over here too, so. Shipwise. Oh. Well, that's good. We sunk a battleship. Nice. Look at that. 24 destroyers, a battleship, and two light cruisers. Because we combine all of our fleets together. Restart fleet expansion. Our navy is limited by its home ports, and our port facilities have been shown to be inadequate. Before we can begin to properly modernize our navy, we must first improve our dockyards and ports. Nice. Sink every single last ship you see. Because they're not going to spare us at all. How many more? They have 205, 205 divisions max. So we're still holding okay. They're still attacking like crazy. They're a bunch of crazies up there in the kingdom. I wonder how much manpower they've actually mobilized. That's my biggest question. Because they're on... Well, they just went to all don't serve. We have millions upon millions upon millions to kill off then. Oh, that is not very bueno. Ooh, yay. Well, it's not really that yay. We lost six destroyers but for seven. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Go and repair. We did put 25 on here, so... Good. Oh, now it's 11. That to repair. That's fine. That's fine. As long as we keep attacking to the point where they cannot really recover too much, that'll be good. Take these guys all out, just because they're weak, first of all. And secondly, 
that allows us to just like push them back and cover up our lines a little bit better. So, good. More encryption. More cryptology, whatever it is. Words are hard. Can you guys actually win over here, maybe? You actually might be able to. Let's see. Uh, up next, we got military police. Better logistics. We can probably wait. Let's grab this one first. No, we can't really do very well over here at all, can we? Yeah. All you guys, just go ahead and hold. You hold. You guys will do fine. Uh, you guys. Ooh, that's not looking good. Hold. Hold. And there you go. Oh. You just hold everyone. That's fine. Just hold it. Hold each other. Hold each other. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. They're still attacking over here, which is fine. So. Dig in. Oh, we have no commander. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was just another commander for you. Huh. Very odd. Okay. Well, I wonder if we could actually attack here. I mean, they're, they're not that weak, but I don't want to get encircled up here. Actually, it'd be better to attack right there. Ooh. It's all right. Kill them all off if you possibly can. We got defeated immediately, which is not good. Ooh, maybe you could win. Nice, good. They've only lost 1.5 million, that's all. So far, so far, that's only all. Let's go ahead and grab what? Cavalry, sh capital ship, yeah, we're already using this, so. I want to give our navy the best possible chance that they could have. Night vision's good for more attack. That's still 10-15. Naval doctrine, let's keep going with this one. But that stuff is very good. I mean, they look extremely weak over here. I'm kind of surprised that we wouldn't be able to do well. Let's take our soldiers off of here, and we're going to start pushing out, maybe. I mean, obviously, it's better to attack, but whatever. Get your butts over here, and then they should move. Well, they're like infantry. Not that fast, but that's okay. We start fleet expansion, and then uh, our fleet, we have a lot of heavy ships, capital ships. We're raiding fleet. Yeah, we'll go with High Seas Fleet. <clears throat> the naval theorists have also often pondered upon the limits of upgunning and up-armoring battleships, and some theorize that there might be such a thing as a battleship that is simply too big to sink. Such a vessel will be incredibly expensive and slow to produce, but it will instill fear into the hearts of our naval rivals. Very so. Very much so. Ah, uh, good. Better air production. Ground support's going to be very good. Cancel on these. Oh, do we have enough artillery now? Oh, yes, we do. Barely enough, but... We're going to run out immediately, because we're going to do this. And some of these tiles, they're just going to get destroyed imme immediately. Some of these tiles, we will not be able to win. But, because they have no manpower, that w and because we're pushing through, we're actually pretty nicely. We should do relatively okay. Oh, boy. Oh, is that just ourselves? It's fine. Arcturian Order is gone. All right, goodbye. Infantry Anti-Tank is nice. And... It's 10, 15, 10. More output. Oh, I forgot to get more output, too. Alright, so that's just a small little attack we've had so far. That's fine. I want to concentrate you guys. Look how weak that is up there. That is so nice. Concentrate you guys right here, because I want to make an instrument right through there. Cut all these divisions off. We've lost half a million. They've lost not enough. They've lost another 16 divisions, though, which is good. Ooh, I'd love to attack here. Some of these guys are looking so dangerously weak. I love it. Okay, you guys can't win. That really sucks. Oh, what do you have? oh Mafia, whatever. All right, over Mafia. Oh, they're still attacking, though. They're still attacking. So, Knights, 40 combat with Knights are not bad. Uh, oh, good. We're doing our land auction, too. Very nice. And come back up here and grab flexible line because, well, we've already started down that line, so we might as well continue it, right? Move into there. And then take out two and go right there. Take off two. These are like a motorized and just, just like end up going there or something. There you go. You should be able to move in. Let the infantry kind of follow your lead. You'll be fine. Probably. Maybe we'll see what happens. And. Good, good, good. Move that infantry in there. Encryption's good. Get some more radar. High Seas Fleet and Dockyard Expansion Fund. A fund should be set up to allow our dockyard owners to expand their facilities. This will provide sufficient space for our Navy to grow. Very nice. Going up on as well. And we got it. Good. And don't take everyone there, but do that. Very good. Oh, we're so close. We got them. We got them. Now we're going to start shoring this up. And they have no... Uh, and Well, I should really say first. they not out of supply yet. Technically they are, but they have to be killed off first. Or lose supply first before this really happens, so... 
Slowly just hold, hold. You're not allowed to lose. You're literally not allowed to lose. I'd rather have you die there. I would literally rather have you die. Oh, okay, I thought you guys were supposed to win here first, guys. Loading airfield is nice. Grab some of that. That'll be good. Good. Now, look at that. Now they're starting to slowly die. That's very good. And they've lost almost a million. Not good enough. Oh, boy. Oh, just subs. That's good. All right. Uh, shippies. 57 is not bad. Oh. We want to repair. Go right ahead. Do you have any other upgrades? Eh, that stuff is always okay. Alright, so they're looking pretty bad. You guys can probably just do... Oh, hello! More divisions? Very good. Good. Kill them all off. And actually, I'm going to go and do this. Just rearrange the line. You guys come up there. Do that. Let U10 come down here as well and do that. You can just, just start attacking. It doesn't really matter too much. Move in. And move in. Nice. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Now they're down to 144. Look at that. Pretty good. Now we've kind of equaled it out a little bit more. Very bueno. So you guys are looking pretty good over here. Actually, we actually might be able to spread through here like cancer if we really wanted to. Hmm. Do we like cancer? No, not too much. But it might just be worth doing, actually. Or, we come over here, and we make an instrument like, we to Aspir, Epicir. That might not be bad either. And we'll grab Flan. The Oxable line is very nice. Grab some of that. And we should have this done very soon, in which Frog Riffs? Oh, look at that. Subs, oh, look at that. That's really cool. The Frog Riffs are a scuba diver trained griffins tasked with silently approaching ships at night and planting mines into their holes. Early tests have shown much promise, and Frog Riffs are expected to be highly effective su su to supplement our naval forces. Very cool. And we have a few days left. Move, that's not bad. Fuel capacity, that's, eh, that's not terrible. That's not too bad. Not super, not super helpful, I'll say that, but you know what? I'll take whatever advantage we can get. Alright, help out, and half you guys go with them. After this instrument, we will go ahead and just slaughter them all, hopefully. But there's no game to you. Happy 1016, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Come on. Oh. Are they really trying to... They're not attacking us anymore, which is kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing. Um, come on, get in there. Oh, we can't get in there. That sucks. Uh, better radar? That's nice. We've got some better radar, too. Nice. Get some radar over there, and get some radar over here, too. Air bases, not bad. Let's get some more military factories because we could probably still use some. And make sure we get some roads here too. Because roads are probably god awful. Alright, so you're not surviving from supply problems, so there you go. And there you go. Alright, you can't win? Alright, well, then die. Well, there you go. Very close. And we got him. I'll let you go there. And, oh, they got some more supplies in. They might have thrown another division in, maybe. I can't tell. I couldn't tell, but they died. Which is always nice to see your enemies die, right? Spread out their lines. Actually, I'd love to link up here. Ooh, actually, I kind of keep doing a few more encirclements first, actually. We can come right here and then do one, two, three, four, five. There you go. It's not much, but it's honest encirclements. They're still making more divisions. Oh, and they're attacking us again. That's fine with me, actually. Let them attack us. Yeah, let them waste their manpower. Grand Battle Fleet is very good. Let's grab some more destroyer stuff. I don't use destroyers as much as I used uh, as I first started when Man the Guns first came out. I love light cruisers. I mean, I love them so much. They're so versatile, and I don't know. Maybe I use them too much. I should use destroyers more because they're so cheap to produce, and they sink often. But they're really very, very good against subs. So both have their uses. For me, light cruisers. I don't know. I just got so used to using them all the time that I just eh, I just kept using them. Nice. Help them out up there too. You might as well. Our new guys help out right there. And do not leave. Do not leave. There you go. Nice. Another encirclement. It ain't much, but it's honest encirclements. <sighs> Beautiful. Now let's kill these guys off too. down here too. Goodbye, progress. Very nice. Naval production. The seas are vast and wide. Why limit our naval actions to the Mediolano or the Celestiano when the whole world is out there for us? Progress? Very cool. And they're dead. Now they're down to 134. 
I'm gonna make these people pay. Agent killed! Oh, no, 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 no. That is not bueno. That is beyond not bueno. Oh, my goodness. Are they gonna attack us again? I wish they would attack us again. I don't think we're strong enough to really just force an attack through. Oh, maybe through here, maybe. I just wanna kill off enemy divisions like this, so. Once you make it enough encirclements, you'll. We'll be doing. We'll just, like, go crazy with them, so. Hmm. Right there, maybe? There you go, something like that. I don't know, something like that. Rubber processing, get even more rubber processing just in case. Are we out of rubber? No, we're out of Of all things, we're out of steel. Alright, well, that's different. It's not much, but goodbye. Actually, this is perfect for another instrument right here. And boom. And send half you guys with them. Nice. The other agent was killed. Holy crap. Oh, you guys are gonna win? That sucks. Hmm. Oh. Alright. Oh, look at that. Scientist, that's cool. Naval strikes. Get some of that too. And then y'all keep pushing out a little bit. See what we can do about going there. They do have an airbase right there too, so. Get down there if you can. Maybe. Maybe. Nice. Uh, that's way too ahead of time. Let's come down here and grab some more extraction. Alright, so you guys can't do jack squat. Okay. Well, we won't do it against the tanks then. You should be able to win here at least. No? Wow, these guys suck. These guys actually really suck. Nostromer. The Mediolano is split between the Griffins, Hippogriffs, Sea Ponies, Harpies, and Zebra. But with their mighty new fleet, who would dare to challenge their supremacy over the seas? Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. Nice. Refitting's okay. Repair speed plus 20%. I like that a lot. Alright, so you know what? Screw it. I'm going to pull these guys back. Um, Let them... Attack us. That's what I was expecting. That's what I'm expecting here. Lots of attacks. Okay, you guys hold. You're gonna get attacked a lot there, so you guys hold right there, then. Let them attack us. I'm sure they got hundreds, hundreds of thousands of man... Millions of manpower left. Alright. Alright, alright. Oh. Oh. King Garbald Tanuel the Third has died. Oh, no. That is not very good. Uh, let's go back over here, too. I'm kind of ignoring this side, as you can see for now. But the King Garibald Tenuel III has passed away this morning after a period of illness. Ever since the murder of his father in 971, Garibald Tenuel has led the Wing Body through times of both triumph and hardship. He was instrumental in the collapse of the Griffonian Empire, protected the South from imperial aggression, and united the nation through the long and bloody war with Falkor. Garibald Tenuel was also a prolific coin collector with over 100,000 coins in his private collection, each of them personally documented and studied. He left his collection, each of them personally documented and studied. Oh, he left his collection to the National Carthinian Museum for all Wing Bardians to enjoy. The throne now passed to his son, Prince Gumberto, was a mere shadow of his father. His life has been one of scandal and criticism, with many prominent winged guardians having openly spoken out against him. Only time will tell what kind of king he will make. All winged guardians mourn today. Oh, no! We lost our king. Gamilio de Gono? Hello. The soldier king has fought his last battle. Oh, that's not good. Very sad. F in the chat, boys. Or just F in the comments. <laughs> not chat. This is not chat. Uh, actually, let's get some uh, stability. We can't get stability. Oh, yeah, we can. Here we go. Uh oh. Would you look at that? We lost a destroyer for 22 cap for light ships. 22 light ships. Nice. Fuel refining. Grab even more fuel refining just in case. Convoy escorts. Let's grab some escort carriers. Thanks by the promoted. And after this one, we'll go and read carriers. We have heard about equestrians using large vessels that can act as mobile sea airships. And while some of the Admiralty scoff at the notion, many are intrigued by the idea. Griffins have always been extrinsically linked to the sky, so we want to combine our nature with our naval traditions. Why not? Why not? There you go. Excavation 4. Let's grab some of that too. And then we'll have improved rubber, even better rubber. Even though we don't really need more rubber, we need more steel. But it's okay. Oh, I spy with my little eyes a potential for an encirclement. Right there. Vigovia?
And let us try. These guys are just really not that strong. We should probably improve their technology, though. Yeah. Um, go up there, maybe, and then there. If possible. Keep those guys in place. Don't let them move. Okay, alright. Can you guys do it, maybe, instead? Maybe? And we'll do carriers. Maybe not. Uh, oh wait, you guys didn't even go in there. What the heck? Guys. There you go, nice. Well, that's only two divisions, but, you know, two more dead divisions are good. Better than nothing. Cool. And now let's pull them back and let them attack us. You know, I don't mind attacking there and pushing out a little bit more, maybe, but let's see what happens when we do this. Well, let's read a few more focuses, because I might just do a lot of this off-screen. So, Naval Bombers. Past lessons have demonstrated that ships are particularly vulnerable to air attacks. Working in tandem with the Aeronautics Institute, new aircraft can be designed effectively and specifically to sink enemy ships and vessels. Far being cheaper to produce than most ships, these Naval Bombers have proved to be an effective and cost-efficient anti-ship weapon. I did notice us off as we were reading through that, that they are attacking us a little bit more, so... Let them do their worst for now. It doesn't look like they can really break our line, but... Fontira de la Marina. Previous amphibious operations have proven difficult and often ended poorly for our forces. Some experts believe that a dedicated force specifically trained in executing naval landings would not only outperform a normal landing force, but would also open up a whole new world of possibilities in future conflicts. Very true, very true. And after a few of finding, let's grab some better arty. That'd be pretty good. I love arty. And then, Southern Society of Science. The Southern states were once homes of the greatest Griffin minds. We should build a united research and development society to help bring us back to the forefront of the world. And Southern Security Council. With the growing tensions on the continent, we must form a united strategy with our allies. Establishing a Council of Alliance members is the first step in achieving this. Which is very, very good. Uh, they should pro they'll probably go ahead and go with that one, but we'll see what happens. And, ooh, look at that map art. Look at Very nice. Oh, wow, they're really attacking us quite harshly. Quite harshly, I would say. Carriers are nice. Let's go get some science stuff. Oh, that is not good. But now there are how many losses? 3.33 million? They've made at least another 60 divisions, probably. And they're not losing any manpower. They are on still all oh, adult oh, serve. Better anti air. Any better ships yet? Nice. Keep repairing. Advanced rubber processing. Good. Let's come over here. Naval doctrine. Yeah. Let's, but let's go ahead and get some better ships, maybe. Um, heavy ships, ooh, what can we throw out early, pretty quickly, that would destroy enemy ships? Probably enemy cruisers, but we're doing pretty well okay. You know what, let's go ahead and grab some of these upgrades, maybe. Oh, let's grab this one first. Chance to receive critical hit goes way down, escort cruisers. We'll keep working on our naval doctrine, don't get me wrong. Artillery upgrades are so good to get, let's get some modern artillery as well, so we can just, just destroy enemy divisions. That'd be nice. We've got so much PP, look at that. Send in Grover, because he can. We get slightly more, uh, ooh. Stability now, which is good. I can expand some of the mines. That's fine with us as well. How about some more millies? We could probably use more planes, right? Way, way, way more planes and anti-air as well. Um, fighters? No, we got. No, we have. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got plenty of stuff. Because they're just killing their entire line. Southern Society of Sciences. Society of Science. Very good. All right, and then cut them down in half. One, two, three. This is always the one thing that can almost always improve your capacity for war, or capabilities for war. Just making planes. That's literally it. Nice. All right, over here we got some casts. There you go. I don't think that group will really need it too much, but that's okay. Better end here. 600. Boom, boom, boom. Cut him in half. And there you go. And you guys are doing... Uh, go there. Now that should definitely help us out. Alright everyone, my apologies about that, but apparently we've got to end the campaign here just because the game keeps crashing. Like... If I go any further, by by the time we hit October 1st, 2010-16, hour 4, 5, or 6, and the game literally just crashes out. I don't think it's an Equestria War bug. I think it's just kind of a generic Hoi 4 bug, because the same thing happened when I played CAA um, in Old World Blues. So it's literally the exact same type of crash. It seems like I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm going to let the devs see if they have anything they could do with this. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to end the campaign here, which is disappointing. 
But, even though we won't be able to see... Actually, you know what? We could probably just use Khan's commands for this if we want to see anything else here. Um, we've done most of the focus is here anyway, so let's go ahead and just maybe cancel that and use focus.autocomplete and focus dot no check. So it's interesting that we actually found a bug, but all right. So we got about that one again. Please go right ahead. Maybe we get, we might get an event. Maybe not. We might not be able to get. But anyways, uh, La Fontera de la Marina, naval bombers, of course. Uh, if you like to read of these, please go right ahead. I just want to make sure that you guys can read the descriptions of these focuses if you want to. So there we go. Heavy bomber is very nice. Our radar experiments would be very good. And overall, in the end, we would have been able to win against the Griffonian Empire. I'm just, I just took things slowly enough to make sure that we didn't, or at least tried to minimize the amount of mistakes I sometimes make. So, like combining your task forces into one gigantic task force and basically death stacking uh, against the enemy's navy because they probably have a pretty big navy. Actually, we should double check that. We should see uh, what type of navy they have. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, Churchill speed and planning speed, that's not really worth it, but tank designs, armored trucks, Montanari Al. Alati, Paracadutisti, and Alpini. Obviously, I don't speak Italian, but I'll say, before we leave, I do want to see what their navy is like. Or their, just the military, I guess, in general. 23 million, that's good. Tons of convoys, tons of factories, of course. 214 divisions, tons of that stuff, too. Um, they still have a big navy. Lots of battleships, a lot of battle cruisers, but other than that, I, unfortunately, that's going to be the end for the campaign here. I, w I did have plans to maybe take out the River Federation, but. I guess that's not going to happen, so I guess we can move on to a new campaign. But if you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Oh, I forgot to do this one stuff. Uh, oh, coming to is Zebreka. Oh. oh well, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you can check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, is what I was trying to say. But, okay. Uh, well, I can't really do one of this. Well, coming soon. Well, no, this really matters since it's not here. But, regards, thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.